Hello, uh, I would like to do a short video on a couple of chess um, openings I have had. Uh, this one is going to be on King's Pawn openings, both as white and as black. Um, more specifically, did it. Uh, double king's pawn openings as both white and black okay so um, I'm gonna kick off with uh, the first one I'm gonna see what types of moves are good to play for white and black so that I'm saying that I'm white here and these are ones that I've had from my own games so I played e4 e5 the first one I'll look at as white is, uh, let's see, knight f3 and then d6. So I've had this as white. And as I've said, the purpose of this video is to work out what are the best moves for white to play with this. And the chess engine is saying knight to c3 and then knight to f6. Let's have a look at this. Knight to c3, knight to f6, then d4, e takes d, and knight takes d, and knight bd7. So this looks interesting. Um, it's apparently a bit less than half a pawn advantage to white with this opening. We go back to here. What are some other things? A move that came up fairly quick was bishop b5 check. But now knight c3 is best. Bishop b5 check seems like, um, let's just take a look at it. Like simply c6, yep. c6, bishop e2. Seems like a waste of tempo to me. Knight f6, knight c3. Bishop e7 and castles. So this doesn't look good to me. I think black has got a really good idea. Here it says actually to play c5. c5? I'm not sure about c5 because you're giving white the d5 um, square. I don't think that's very wise. Maybe um, d5 by black. e takes d. And then e4, it says. This could be interesting. Okay, so that is one way of playing it. So I just want to remember when I see d6, best move at depth, what was it, depth 13 or something, depth 15, knight c3, followed by knight f6 and d4. So let's remember this. And then d takes, knight takes, and the most common move, knight bd7. Okay. So that's one of them. A second one I want to look at was after playing knight to f3, black plays a very odd move, queen to f6. Apparently this is very good for white. It's about 1.2 pawns up after move 2 and knight c3 bishop d6 bishop d6 um, I don't know what the point of this move was bishop c4 knight h6 it says that's weird looks like black yeah it's now it's now one one point five pawns up for white it's just castles and white is doing very well so it looks like this move queen to f6 a couple reasons why it's bad is because you're taking away f6 for your knight that's one thing and 
this piece is likely to be kicked around and you will lose tempos. So simply going on knight c3, knight c6, said knight c6, it had bishop c4 before I think, bishop d6 or something wasn't it? But this queen to f6 doesn't actually look like it does a whole lot. Um, all it's really doing is taking away this knight from um, moving to f6. It's bishop c4, d6, it's saying now. Bishop c4, d6. It's changing its mind on what it, it thinks is the best move. Uh, it says castles, but what about knight d4? Four, knight d5, I'd be tempted to play knight d5 to kick the queen, but probably best is just, is, is just castles. I don't think black can get some sort of attack too soon over on the king's side. So that's that one. So one last little look at this. After queen f6, simply play knight c3. And knight c6, and continue on with like bishop c4, d6, and castles. Whoops, bishop, yep, bishop c4, d6, castles. And that looks pretty easy going for white. It's about 1.1 pawns up from here. Now I'm gonna change the board, I'm gonna flip it around so. Haven't really had much time to look at this program. Okay, here we go. So this is as black. After d4, uh, after e4, e5, uh, my opponent played bishop c4. I've had this in a couple games. Uh, apparently this is a, this is good for white, but knight c6. I've played knight c6 against this, so that's good. Knight c6, knight f3, knight f6, knight f3, wait, knight c3, knight f6. Is that what it said? Let's just go back and make sure. Knight c3, knight f3. It's now saying bishop d6, knight f6. Just check this again. So bishop c4, knight c3, no, 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 that will be a white move, knight c3. So what's the move for black after this bishop c4? Okay, my engine appears to be not really responding. Let's just go right back to the start. Here we go again. Okay, knight c6. Ah, knight c6. Okay, knight c6, knight c3, knight f6. Okay, knight c6, knight c3, knight f6. This is what it's saying. Knight f3. Um, attacking this pawn. And it looks pretty even looks reasonable bishop c5 bishop c5 by black I think both sides just castle is that right? yep castles castles and d3 knight a5 d3 knight a5 attacking the bishop okay that's interesting. Let's look at that again. So after bishop c4, simply knight c6, and after knight c3, knight f6. That's the basic plan. It's just to get the knights out and get the bishop out, castle, castle, and maybe try to attack this bishop to get white's pawns doubled. And it looks like white's pawns are. Uh, going to turn out like that because the bishop's got nowhere to go 
where the pawns can't be doubled. But uh, here it's saying I and now knight takes e5, d6. Just want to look at this a bit further. D6. Uh, also opening up this bishop, so that knight move was a gambit. Knight takes f7. Uh huh. I don't know if getting um, two pieces for the rook, for black, I don't know. Rook takes, bishop takes, king takes. Is this really good for white? It's gone down two of his minor pieces for the rook. Apparently it is. Apparently it's about half a pawn for white. Bishop g5. King g6. King g6? Uh huh, bishop g5, king g6 attacks the bishop, but where's his king going? Bishop e3. His king is just moving around the board. And that seems a bit crazy. Anyway, um, that's likely to happen though. Hmm. Okay, let's look at this once again. Castles, castles. That's a gambit. I don't. I'm not so sure about it. I'd probably just play this. Knight a4. What happens? Knight a4. He attacks my bishop. Okay. Anyway, that's that's that one. And this other one I had as black, after e4, e5, my opponent played the move, d3. And this is even or even a little bit better for black, it's saying, just marginally better for black. Up to knight f6. Knight c6, bishop e2, bishop, uh, no, there's no bishop e2, knight c6, and now bishop e2 for white, bishop e2, bishop b4 check, hold on, there's no bishop b4 check. Bishop e to e2 here, bishop e2, bishop b4, check. I suppose now c3 is going to come to get a tempo. c3, bishop e7. c4. I don't understand c4. Once again, knight can jump into d4. It's a big hole on d4. Castles, castles. d6. It's actually now slightly better for white. Let's go back again. So here, it's even really. Knight c6. Oh, hold on, I play knight f6. Knight c6. What's the move? Bishop e2, knight f6. Knight to f3. Bishop b4, check. And c3, bishop e7, castles. Oh, it's saying c4 still. I don't like c4. Why is it saying c4? Okay, play c4. Castles. Castles. d6. Bishop e3. Knight g4. No, that's knight b4. Knight g4. So here it's saying it's about even still. It's interesting where to play. 
not sure I like it though. But that's what the chess engine is saying for those four double king's pawn openings. That's what I wanted to take a little look at first. So I know the plans now for these types of moves. So hopefully I'll be able to use these ideas the next time these come up in my own games. So thanks for watching. I hope you learned something from this and I'll talk to you in the next one. Thanks. See ya.